Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Grab your vices, chill out, and as we always do, let's get straight to it. This is episode 22 of Straight Forward with Miss B, along with guest co host AG. What's up, hey, AG? This is, hey, this is AG. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I know you guys can understand what what I have to deal with around these parts. <laughs> anyway, um, how was your week, man? Um, tell you the truth and be be real honest. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Oh God! <laughs> you know what's you know what's uh funny? What? I can't remember what I did over the week. <laughs> no weekend either. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, did I do anything? I guess that, that just means my weekend was boring pretty much. If I can't think of nothing, then yeah. not too much happened. <laughs> yeah, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been. It couldn't have been. I don't remember. Right. I know. I probably didn't do much. I can't even. When you asked me the question, I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, the week before, you know, it was your birthday and everything, so you've been partying, so, you know, it's okay yeah. to have an off yeah, week. We done, yeah, we crossed over to another month, so. Right. Somebody ain't my month no more. Right. The month of June, shout out to the, what, Geminis and the Cancers at the end of the month. They'll be flowing in here. Shout out mm-hmm. to you guys. Um. Yeah. So I guess we gonna get straight to it today. We don't really straight have forward. No, yeah. Straight to <laughs> it. Straight forward. That's what we all about over here. Um. So yeah. So as many um of you may have heard, um, you know, one thing about me, and I mentioned this, you know, in the very first episode, uh, music has been a big part of my life, my entire life, and um, I just kind of like keeping up with you know, would be transparing um, in the music industry. So recently, Atlanta um, rapper, he was kind of like a street legend here in Atlanta. Um, His name was Trouble. Um, He was actually killed while visiting a female friend. Uh, It was so crazy. It kind of caught the city really off guard with it. You know, he was, um, I think maybe a couple of days before, it was uh, Q from... um, P, I mean, P, I'm sorry, P uh, from QC. It was his um, big birthday celebration down at the Fox Theater, and Trouble was in attendance um, to that. I believe that was on June 1st, actually. And then next thing you know, you know, we get this news um, that Trouble basically was in a, in, a, in a pretty bad predicament. He was placed in a bad predicament, you know? Um, many people who kind of follow Trouble's career, he, you know, would be in and out, in and out of jail, you know, um, but, you know, he he put out, you know, he had good songs and music that he put out and everything. I think the last people he was signed with was uh, Mike Will made it, the producer has a label called Ear Drummers, and I believe he was signed to Mike Will, which I believe Ear Drummers maybe have their their um their label deal through Interscope. Um, but you know, trouble trouble would have been on the scene for quite some time, kinda bubbling under. He was with um duct tape over there with Big Bank. He was uh, you know, originally with their crew and everything, rapping. Um, but his music, although, you know, you know you had a the street classics, the street rappers pretty much that their music they may catch a hit, they may go mainstream to a certain degree, but never quite, you know, never quite on like a futures level or a young thug level. Um, but that's right. Um, so, you know, and that's like I said, with him being in and out of um jail numerous times, that definitely impacted his music career. Um, however, you know, the women love loved him. The women loved him. He was known around the city. You know, he had a couple of baby mamas. Uh, I want to say he got maybe three kids or two. 
Um, but he had a couple of baby mamas. Um, but he was always <coughs> a ladies. He was always a ladies man, which, mm-hmm. which is kind of eerie that the way that he passed away was basically, you know, messing around with somebody else's girl. And the guy, J. Mike, I believe his name, I can't remember what his government name is, but um, what happened is that Trouble was out. I believe he might have had like a after-hours gig that he you know, had to do or he went to the bar or something like that, but he ended up driving from Atlanta to Conyers. The girl lived in an apartment, and come to find out, the girl is like an underground rapper too. Um, her name is Risa Royce, I believe, if y'all guys want to look her, look her up on YouTube. Um, but anyway, he left Atlanta, drove down to Conyers, and anybody that's familiar with Conyers, Conyers is about a good 30-minute drive outside of Atlanta. Um, so he went to her apartment, and apparently the story has came out that he fell asleep, um, the actual statement that the girl gave to the police in the statement it basically stated that um trouble was there he was asleep next thing you know that the boy the quote-unquote ex-boyfriend j mike ended up um forcing himself through the door he immediately found them in the bed he started beating up on the girl first um and then he ended up you know, trying to attack trouble as well and ended up shooting trouble. And by the time trouble, you know, the EMS came and got trouble to the hospital, he was pronounced dead. Mm. Which is, which is so crazy. You know, it's like men, I'm just going to say, I don't want to just say men because women out here are trifling just as, <laughs> you know, the same way as men are. Oh, yeah. But it's like, now. right, it's like the girl, the girl said that in a, in a statement, basically, she stated that a week prior to that, her and the ex-boyfriend, um, or probably he was still the boyfriend at that point, they got into a scuffle in the car, and he actually, you know, he beat on her in the car. She called the police, but never really filed a report or anything like that. Um, she had not seen the ex-boyfriend this entire week, like during this time, until he bust through that door and killed Trouble. So you know he been watching that apartment all week. Yes. <laughs> yes, he have. Yes, he have. I'm trying to figure out why did she... <laughs> Why did she even invite trouble over there? Like, like she just really put him in a bad predicament. Uh-huh. And then kind of find out it was her and the boys. They shared the apartment. It was both of their apartment? Yes. Trifling. Just trifling, man. And it's just so sad that he had to go. It's sad that the trouble had to go out this way. So my thing for trouble is, did you just meet this girl or did you already know the situation? Because it ain't been there but a week since her and her boyfriend been together. That's what I want to know, too. I want to know how long was it just some chick you met before performing at a club and one day y'all just said y'all were going to link up and it happened to be your free night that you could link up with her? Or... Had he, like you said, known her for a while? Because it, I feel like for him to be sleep, usually street dudes don't necessarily sleep at no side chick or just a little jump off apartment because they're not familiar with the surroundings. Trouble had to feel comfortable to some degree to even sleep unless he was just maybe real high, drunk that night. You know what I mean? And didn't want to, because because of the distance from Atlanta, it would have been unsafe for him to get back on the road, especially if he had been drinking. So he decided to sleep. They should have been in somebody's room. Right. Right. 
all these hotels. They could have went. You know, the situation you just gave, mm -hmm. like last week, they was living together. Right. So if he was talking to her prior, if anything had happened, it didn't happen now. You know, it didn't happen in that house so unless she been, unless that's what they've been doing. And just unless she, right, unless me. when, yeah, <laughs> when the boyfriend went out of town or, you know, because I believe he might have been an up-and-coming rapper as well. Maybe he might have been traveling on the road doing shows and that's when trouble, you know, might have sneaked over there before. But, you know, I'm like, it has to be a reason why he felt so comfortable to just sleep because usually a hood dude who, who who be in the streets like that, they 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 not going to be lacking like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially with somebody he ain't serious with. Now we don't know the we don't know the relationship. Well, we That's do know the relationship. Stuff. We don't know their relationship. Well, what we do know is it has been at least four or five women so far that then came out on social media with a RIP post to trouble. They have been boohooing and crying. All of them said that he was their soulmate. All of them <laughs> said, <laughs> all of them said that we talked about stuff that don't nobody else know about. All of them said, you know, praying for your mom and them and da 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 da. It has been at least five. <laughs> <laughs> it was so crazy to uh, actually today a, a a a white chick mind you these other girls are black but the a white chick popped out today with her with her uh r.i.p trouble she couldn't hold it post she couldn't hold it and she was an attorney so you know he was gonna keep her close to his side Trouble was trouble. <laughs> but it's so crazy. But with, with, with the people talking about now is that how do these people feel? Like one of his baby mamas, when she put her post up and everything, the, one of the first things she said was, I don't really care about him being with other people. So, you know. Sound like he was a smooth talker. He was. You ain't never heard <laughs> Trouble Talk? No. You got to go know. you you got to go on YouTube. You got to listen to his music. You got to listen to He <laughs> he he had some swag. He had the look. He just couldn't stay out of jail. He couldn't stay out of jail. But he had the talk, the smooth talk, the fast talk. He had his own little lingo. He was from Boulevard, you know. Boulevard area downtown. How old was it? He had it. 34 years old. He had the lingo, and he loved the ladies. He loved the <laughs> ladies. He always have had multiple women. He dated multiple women at the same time, and it's just, like I said, it's just so crazy that he ended up passing away because of, the women. Because of a female. That's the beef. Talk about wrong place at the wrong time. That is so crazy to me. But hey, you live he by the sword, you die by the sword, you know? I think he knew the situation and she he didn't care. Yeah, he was just trying to get that. <laughs> he was just trying to get yeah. He was just trying to get that for real. For real, for real. It's not like he went in and <laughs> he went in that night. <laughs> and well, he just fell asleep. Right. He put in some work overtime. Well, fellas, I will say, well, they are holding a vigil tonight. Um, it's at a park here in Atlanta. I'm sure it's going to be thousands of people out there um that supported trouble 
Like I said, he was just kind of like one of them people that knew everybody, was a smooth talker, you know, a stand-up type of dude, you know. Um, but the women was just part of his, you know, his vice. Um, but, you know, so shout-out to everybody. Hopefully the visual goes smoothly, you know. We don't want no crazy antics going on um, in the city. We definitely, you know, everybody want to, just, you know, send their farewells and, and condolences to uh, Trouble's family and loved ones and especially his kids. Um, everybody definitely go out and stream his music. You know, whatever royalties and streaming, you know, money they make goes to his kids. Um, so definitely go out there and support him um, that way. Um, but what I wanted to say for the men can chime in on this as well fellas you have to definitely just when it comes to dating multiple women at one time I mean come on now I know Atlanta is a city where they say it's like 12 women to every one man but come on it's 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 not safe it's not safe the women these days ain't like the women from say back in my day you know Women these days, they set dudes up. They don't really care. Everybody trying to get paper, you know, or they trying to get clout, one or the other. So y'all have to definitely, you know, protect yourselves at all times. If you don't know that chick, if even if you've been to that chick house one or two times, that still don't mean you should feel comfortable there and definitely don't feel comfortable sleeping. Sleeping in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I feel you, but. <coughs> oh my God, he over there smoking, y'all. That's why he ain't talking. They still have all the time with the um... Yeah, I need each other. Mm-hmm. You know, within a week or two, you're going to be in the spent the night at somebody's house. <laughs> After you the middle. Well, they don't need to do that. They need to definitely invite her to your crib. Well, maybe that ain't good. Saying, either way it goes. He probably was never going to invite her to his crib. But I'm just saying, just real life with people in general, you either going to be at her house or you're going to be at his house mm-hmm. or a room. Them are the three options. If you got paying rent somewhere, you ain't going to get no room. So. Right. Right. And for the dude that did the crime, you know, it's, it's, I get it. People be in love, you know, right, people, be, you people snap them. every day. Cause they in love with somebody that done did a wrong and you know, they just having to snap. I feel bad. I feel bad for the dude, you know? My question is why he didn't shoot her. She the one violated. Right. But he, he, he was going, he was definitely going to get more. He was going, he knew his life, his life was probably going to end if, if trouble survived. Sure. Uh, I don't even know, but I always want to know why when stuff like that happen, why you just go straight for the man and, and the lady get a pass and she the one who violated you. Well, I don't know. I don't know why people act like that, but I have seen many circum many instances where they kill everybody. <laughs> so I mean, I look you. I, you know, I be might looking at well. that true crime stuff. I look at it every day. And you they kill well everybody, everybody in the house, and, and we would have understood. You know what I'm saying? Right. We, we, we didn't know why you killed them. <laughs> yeah. And that's one thing the black men don't do either. With black people in general, rarely do we we hear about the person that murdered everybody, killed themselves. You know, versus like when you hear about it with white people, you know, usually the person that does the crime end up, you know, 
committing suicide yeah. themselves. But you never really hear about that when it comes to the black men and women. But yeah, rest in peace, trouble man. You yeah, wanna... R.I.P. Trouble and your family. Yes, sir. Uh, speaking of another R.I.P. Master P. Um, um, had placed a post and just kind of you know he caught all of his fans and supporters. Uh, by surprise as well, um, he, you know, stated that his um, daughter, he had a daughter that passed away um, that committed suicide as well. No, it was OD. Well, okay. Suicide. Well, well we're going to say OD, but he did mention something about mental health issues. She had She was suffering from addiction and mental health issues. Um, so we definitely want to send our condolences to... Um, to my original baby daddy, I really thought that I was gonna meet and marry Master P back in the nineties. <laughs> you gonna be Miss the Ice Cream Lady? I was gonna be the Ice Cream Lady, man. <laughs> <laughs> you better uh, believe it. I was gonna be the uh, Ice Cream Lady. <laughs> I sure was, but that's, yeah, that's sad. You young folks, you got to speak to young folks. When you see people, you know, dealing with whatever they dealing with, you know, definitely try to lend a hand, try to lend a motivational word, you know, maybe seek out some resources for them, place them in rehab, you know, do never just, you know, I'm not saying that's what they did. Of course they didn't, but I'm just saying if you come across friends and family, um, people that you know that may be suffering um, from some type of mental illness, um, definitely, you know, do what you can to assist those individuals, you know, and, uh, you know, never just let them sit there and, and suffer. But I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm a hundred percent sure that Master P and his family, her sisters and brothers did every, and mom did everything that they can, um, or possibly could, um, to help her, you know, but, so, yeah, some things you just can't control. So definitely, um, rest in peace, young lady. Um, let's see, Nick Cannon, man, Nick Cannon is expecting. We don't. Well, we've been debating whether it's, he expecting twins or he's expecting his ninth child. We don't really know. Is it gonna be nine or ten? <laughs> That's the total. <laughs> Look at it again. They <laughs> ain't even six months old yet. You know what I'm know. saying? Nick, and then he had the nerve to talk about his therapist told him it'd be best. It, what he said, the therapist told him that he's not a he's not a sex addict. He's a love addict. He's addicted to that intimacy and 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 just experiencing love um i guess with just with different people or experiencing love in different he ways fall in love quick. right and then he fall out of love just exactly and like so he, <laughs> and the therapist told him to uh practice uh celibacy which he said he did for how many days he said it lasted 30 days oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, it got it. Nick Cannon man, you need to go have a vasectomy. You need to get no. the snip like snip. Nick, man, he got all that money, man. Shit. But still, he, man. Be fruit, he could be fruitful and multiply. He could take care of all the kids. Yeah. I had to see the day when he passed away. I wonder if they're going to be fighting over that money. He's going to be enough for everybody. Yeah, but you know. You know who yeah, you know who's going to take the book, Shell? <laughs> Mariah Carey, baby. That man said that man the other day. He said it cost $150,000 for him to even come out of the And she going to get that money, baby. About 150k for Mariah Carey to come out the house, baby. <laughs> I wonder if Nick Cannon's father had a lot of kids. Man, Nick, man, you know, sometimes you be like, you know, you end up being like your your mom and daddy. Yeah. 
he our black Ryan Seacrest. Yes, he is from an entertainment standpoint. Oh, yeah, Ryan, uh, well, TV. I was just say TV standpoint. Yeah, Ryan ain't having no kids, so Nick having the four. Why Ryan ain't have no kids? I thought he was. Uh uh-uh. uh. He ain't. Shit, I don't know. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan from Atlanta too. If I'm not mistaken, I think he went to North Atlanta High School. Shout out to Ryan C. Chris, man. Yeah, I ain't know. I don't know which way he goes, so I'm, I'm, I'm confused on him. So. Me, either. that's why I sure. said. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I don't know about. I don't know. Ryan probably. I don't know. He probably around here like Anderson Cooper, or uh, I don't know. what's the Anderson dude? Cooper? You know what he is. Yeah, I'm saying he probably. That's what I'm saying. Ryan Cooper or what's the other guy? Oh, Andy from uh Andy Corn from Bravo. You know what he is, right? And they have surrogates that had kids for them. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's how the gays have babies. <laughs> if they don't well, be... find somebody that you know, they can shoot up. Yeah, with him being on that show with um Kelly in the morning, I ain't never heard him talk about no kids. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with Ryan. Mm. Cause well, I didn't, we never hear about a love life, you know. Period about he him. Always at work. <laughs> he is always at work. He Ryan Seacrest is gonna be like Dick Clark. He's gonna be like, what's the man from Jeopardy? At Alex Trebek, the man from uh. He's bigger than all of them to me. What's the Alex what was Trebek the late night guy? Johnny Carson. Oh yeah, <laughs> he could have been down in history, nigga. I even knew what his name. Ryan Seacrest. How the hell I know his name? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, but let's pray. Yeah, let's pray for Nick because he he definitely will need a lifelong, you know, career in the show business, which I think he can be. Um, he he represents the black community very well, you know. Outside of all the kids, he, he definitely represents us well, and he does his thing. Um, so shout out to Nick Cannon on the soon to be, I often say soon to be father. What is it, father to be? <laughs> oh yeah, and I think he probably, I think he got about five more in him, ready yeah. to go. Yeah, <laughs> he, he. I think he can. Yeah, I think he can make it to about. I think he can make it to fifteen easily. Yeah. Within the next three years. Within the next three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Within the next three years. Um, Moving on from Nick. Because we, we'll be talking about him again in three months. That he, you know, about to have another baby. If that long. If that long. Um, some good news on the political front. Um, Let me pull up my information here. Um, the House actually... Passes um, sweeping gun reform legislation. The House of Representatives, um, they passed a gun package um, in a 223 to 204 vote on today. I mean, on Wednesday, actually, in response to mass shootings in Buffalo, New York, and Uvalde, Texas, um, of course, which killed more than 30 people overall. The gun legislation package is made up of several proposals, including the restriction of sales of large capacity ammunition magazines and raising the minimum age um, for the purchase of certain firearms. Despite the measure being passed, though, it is expected um, to meet the Republican opposition um, in the Senate Um, where 60 votes are needed um, in order to break through um, a filibuster and move forward with the bill. Um, So do you think they're doing good by that? I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I told you they shoot them kids. Something's going to happen, man. Yeah. But we got to see what the next step is. There's too many steps to it. (laughs) Right. We got to get past the Senate. (laughs) Because they ain't a bill, then you got to hope these other folks approve. But I don't care. Mm-hmm. You don't get to them now. Don't hold it. 
So, right. Well, we'll see. See what the Senate does. Hopefully, they they do right and they you know voted voted on in so um so that we can get this reform going across the country because you know the U.S. definitely needs it for sure. Um, I'm, go ahead. Yeah, I said we need something. Yeah, cause mm-hmm. the way it is is you know like the man I was listening to some of the one of the. I don't know, was it the senator or whatever? You were like, we ain't changing the laws and taking your rights away, but we just, you know what I'm saying? We got to let them do something to it. Yeah. Yeah, I know the um, state of New York, I know that they just passed uh, where, you know, the age requirement to be 21 to purchase, um, what is it, assault rifles, semi-automatic I mean, what rifles. The hell, what, what you need to purchase that for? Well, apparently somebody was in there. Somebody been purchasing them. I know, but I'm saying, what's the purpose of a regular citizen having a semi-automatic rifle? I mean, it ain't no purpose of it, but it keep landing in the hands of these young people. So we got they got to do something. Why are they selling that to the public, though? Exactly. They That's shouldn't. Yeah, they shouldn't be selling it at all. Yeah, they shouldn't be selling that to no public. And if you did buy that gun, you should have to go to a a, a longer check. What you call it? A, a, a background a lengthier, check. A lengthier check than you did if you bought a regular gun. Right. They shouldn't be selling it at all. All I, right. Not to know, the public. In my opinion. Yeah. Just sell some rifles for people who go duck hunting and shooting deers. But outside exactly. of that, yeah, outside of that... Yeah, yeah, they don't need all that. But other shit. shit, you gotta, you need to go see somebody about getting one of them. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you should have to go to the back. No, you got to have to get an appointment and talk to this person about getting that gun. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, before we get out of here, um, today, um, Jay Z and Twitter founder Jack Dorsey. Um, they have launched, um, a Bitcoin Academy, um, for the youth. I want to say that it is going to kind of kick off in, in or near Marcy Projects. That is where Jay-Z, um, was raised in New York. I think that is definitely, um, a very positive thing. You know, financial literacy is something that the black community for sure has, 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 been missing for umptings of decades um and i think that you know financial literacy is definitely something that our kids and the next generation and the next generation you know definitely be knowledgeable about um which i'm glad to see that you know our community is you know paying attention to it more paying attention to it, learning how to invest in stocks and you know different things of that nature. So um, I think Jay-Z and Jack Dorsey is definitely doing a great thing um, for the community in that. So congratulations to them. All righty. Um, since he's moving around on the phone, and uh, <laughs> thank God we are heading out of here because he, he just, I don't know why he just, AG chooses to do a whole lot of shit while he's recording this podcast. Oh my god. And it's pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it took us the longest to get the audio right. Now we got the audio right. You doing everything else. Anyway. Anyway, y'all. You wanna say bye <laughs> to the people. Oh my god. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, you guys. Until next week. Um, this has been episode 22. So we'll see you guys again. Um, don't forget, please subscribe to um, our streaming um, platforms. We're at Straightforward with Miss B. That's S T R, the number 8 F W D with miss b on all streaming platforms we're on social media as well at straightforward msb facebook youtube instagram twitter tiktok definitely follow us on all of those 
And um, thank you all again, especially supporters who hit us up in the DMs um, to let us know that we are doing great and to keep up the good work. And so shall we. Until next time.